So according to my friend Society Zills, yes, there are actually a lot of people who do have problems with fox hunting. I'm not completely sure what those problems are. I'm not going to do the research because video is already recorded. Um, it was mostly done just to make fun of the whole situation. I think it was mostly talked about in that other article anyway. And this article will be different. It won't talk about it as much. And there is a lot of, you know, background noise, a little bit of background static, that kind of stuff going on in the video. And I think the last video too. And I do apologize for it. I think I left the door open. Well, even more open than usual. So I think you heard the fan on the outside and... Problem with the Yetis is they pick up fucking everything. But other than that, let's get going into the video. Let's get down to the good shit. Bam Machera sent cease and desist from Pop... Pop Cops... So it is Pop Cops, and I think... I don't fucking know. Township. But he says he's throwing a party at Castle Bam anyway. Okay. Bam Majera is doubling down on his intent to hold a massive party at his Castle Bam property in April. After claiming he recently received a cease and desist letter from Pop... Okay, now they're... Mm. Okay, so it is Poe Cops and... I guess it's just an error at the top. Township about the event. This word is going to fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate that word. Margera discussed the situation in a series of Instagram posts on Monday, this time via videos instead of his usual handwritten notes. In one post, he noted that Poe Cups and Township had sent him a cease and desist letter threatening potential jail time over his upcoming April party due to a newly enacted special event ordinance that is targeted at events that may attract more than 100 att attendees. I'd love to FC that. Effin? FC that? F see that? Whatever. Majera said, for what, having skateboarders skate a F ramp? Just, just censor out the word. Don't do this F shit. That's fucking irritating. <laughs> I don't know. I just realized that it's kind of funny that they keep trying to censor it and I'm just like, fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. And then I'm trying to, like, find a way to read the F. When I can just say fucking. Having skateboarders skate a fucking ramp just like that. And it sounds a lot better. And then a neato concert ending before 10. Sounds like an old man party. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's gonna end by 10 guys. That's super fucking cool. So 4 to 10. Because that as long as the party goes... It's like five or four hours. That's not a lot at fucking all. What the fuck? <laughs> like, at least the other party sounded like a fucking rager. You just make up your own rules. Might as well be called Bam Can't Have Fun Day. <laughs> Guys, give him his fucking show back. <laughs> I want to see this shit happen on TV or on YouTube. I don't care where. I want to see Bam have his show back so I can fucking hear him say this on, on like, a fucking live stream or something on fucking YouTube. Like, Viva La Bam, part two, or Viva La Bam, the second <laughs> Oh, God. But, yeah, give Bam his fucking show back. This guy, this is fucking gold right now. Fucking want it. <laughs> Past following Majera's December 13th party, the ordinance indicates that each violation could cost up to $1,000 each or result in imprisonment for a term not exceeding 90 days. As if there was not enough drama in his current life. The Brandon Novak shit, the constantly saying he's going to break up with his wife. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> Like, I love Bam, but the guy is, the guy is life, just, I don't know what the fuck is going on, apparently losing his shows just fucking hit him really fucking hard, and then he lost a friend, an uncle who lost a Kate course for sexual abuse, 
Jesus, dude. <laughs> like, I joke around, but this is... His whole life just seems fucked. Getting fat couldn't have helped either, because, like... Oh, there's... There's a scene in fucking Viva La Bam where April's like, he's just scared of ending up like his father. And then you watch interviews with him now and you're like, Mmm, thanks, Notre Dame. Thank ya. <laughs> I'm trying to make it kind of funny since I'm just getting into the really depressing stuff. Majera's reps did not respond to the inquirer's request for comment. However, in Board of Supervisors meeting notes, Pocopson officials indicated the ordinance was not passed to target Majera specifically, but his December party did act as a catalyst to advance its creation. So, it was only like partly targeting him. Only partly. Um... Despite the apparent cease and desist letter, which is not a legally binding document or lawsuit, Majera said the party will go on and Pocopson Township is just going to have to find me. In yeah, that sounds a lot better. Find me. Than if I'm trying to say, F find me. In subsequent videos posted on Instagram, Majera threatened to increase disruptive behavior at Castle Bam. 435 Hickory Hill Road if Poke Hobson tries to stop this one day event from happening. So I guess he put that there, I'm hoping, or they just decide to put it there for some reason. I'm going to make it my point to invite everybody over every day and night for free. Give him his fucking show back. Do it! Give him the fucking show back! I want this! <laughs> Majera said, Get your asses off! Ride my four-wheelers and dirt bikes all over the yard, causing a ruckus, causing mud, music all the live long day and night, every single day, everyone's welcome for free, for <laughs> God, I want to see how this plays out. I can't wait until April 1st. This is going to be such a wonderful train wreck, and I love everything about it. Ah, shit. Come on, comp. Come on, mine comp. Fuck you. Work with me. I can make it... Still can't read. I can make it way worse than you want, he added in another video. Majera's previous event to raise funds for a new skate park that has been constructed in a building on the property. Seriously. Whiplash. Majera's April event. Majera's April event. Oh. For some reason I thought he, they were talking about April and I was really fucking confused. He announced on Instagram earlier this month will serve as a grand opening for the new skate park. Will include a performance from rapper Yellow Wolf. Uh, I don't fucking know anything about Yellow Wolf. I'm guessing he's not that good. Sorry to say. As well as appearances by professional skateboarders like Danny Way. Tickets to the event run $100 for basic entry. Or $500 for a VIP package. That includes food and a fully stocked bar. Plus a piece of artwork from Majera. Jesus Christ. $500? Jesus. Fans can purchase passes via CastleBamEvents.com, which also includes a list of rules for the party as well as an itinerary of events. At the time of the announcement, Majera also criticized Pacopson Township over its special event ordinance, which he said just be called BAM can't have one day fun per year at the ordinance. I feel like we're just repeating things at this point. Past December 26th indicates the larger event with more than 100 anticipated guests have to apply for permits from the township. 
as well as agree to pay for support services used in damage damages caused in the course of the event. Applications will be reviewed by township officials who will either deny or grant permits. I kind of feel like there's nothing wrong with what they're doing, to be honest. Like, maybe it's just me, but it seems like they're just taking very, very understandable precautions when you've got somebody like Bam Majera around. Board of Supervisors meetings notes indicate Majera's December 13th event caused damage to surrounding properties. What the fuck? And also resulted in state police use of helicopters, troopers undercover, and criminal investigators. The event notes complete. Did that. The event notes claim also resulted in the death of a cow on a nearby farm due to emergency responders being blocked off by traffic. <laughs> so much for saying the foxes. <laughs> we gotta save the foxes, but we're gonna kill all the fucking cows. <laughs> can't deal <laughs> oh god where am I <laughs> event the Majera de address specifically in handwritten note on Instagram this week if everything goes smoothly and there is nothing to complain about then say a cow died from stress of the this event Majera wrote true story not a joke also at issue for Majera is another apparent rule in po Copson that has prevented him from filming at Castle Bam for about a decade. As the former Jackass star has said in an Instagram post, 2004 the township issued a cease and desist that ordered Majera to stop filming projects at Castle Bam, claiming that it violated a home-based business ordinance. However, a 2007 AP report indicates Majera and Poe Copson reached an agreement that allowed filming and editing of videos at Castle Bam, though Majera has indicated otherwise online recently. Oh, this is a fucking rabbit hole. Majera has focused on parties at Castle Bam following a stint earlier this year in an alcohol rehabilitation program. Majera checked himself out of the program in January, noting in an Instagram post that he was bored 50% of the time in the facility and bored typically triggers his drinking. Since then, Majera has maintained that he has been sober as a judge since sober as a judge since New Year's Eve. Are judges sober? I don't fucking know. You can cheer me on or wish me luck, but I won't need it, Majera wrote last month. I am on a mission. And he's going to have a party with a bunch of beer at it. Great idea for a recovering alcoholic. I still want to go, but... You know, that doesn't mean I can't say that this doesn't seem like the greatest idea. But yeah, that's our little journey through the new event with Bam Margera. I cannot at all wait for April 1st. Until next time, this is Mad Silence signing out.